Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Pizza Connection 3 and the Lost Pizza franchise on day 76. So, last episode was brought to my attention that I kind of forgot that there actually is a warehouse right across the street from Olympia. But the only thing about that is the fact that this, uh, the one that I have over here also services um, pretty, what is this restaurant over here? Van Gogh's. So if I take this one away, and it, it really wouldn't serve much of a purpose for me to have two warehouses and have to pay extra rent. So I think I'm just going to keep that one since it's kind of like a middle ground between the two. Rather than picking just this one and then having to go all the way over here to supply Van Gogh. So I think we'll just keep it the way that we got it right now. Speaking of Van Gogh, goodness gracious, there's a lot of people that are over here right now. $514,000 so far today. Of course, the police are still monitoring. As if they really have to. I mean, they don't. <laughs> they don't. No one's going to harm us at this point. Montego doesn't care enough anymore. And the other businesses are bankrupt. So there's nothing going to happen. No no gang, no gangsters, no nothing. We're fine. So let's see. In terms of two... Oh my god, negative 41,000. I mean, I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen worse. We did, we did go on a furniture repairing spree, so that's probably why. We spent $14,000 on furniture so far today. Well, I want to say... Not so far. This is all we're going to spend today. I don't think I need to do any more repairs. And then we've spent like 20,000 on 30,000 on ingredients already. I'm pretty sure by the end of the day we should be good. It is still fairly early. Um, let's see. Do I have people staffed here all day yet? I do not. I still only have us here for two shifts right now, which yesterday was enough to um, make us profitable. So I feel like maybe we could expand into another shift, maybe another, uh, maybe a late night shift or another early morning shift. I guess we'll see. Um, the only thing about it is, like I said, we don't really have too good people left. We're going to have to train pretty much everybody that we could hire. So let's see. And I guess, I guess I should try it. If I'm going to do it, I might as well do it now. Let's see. Where do we stand so far today, though, at Van Gogh's? Van Gogh, negative 116. Actually, wait, what? I thought we made a profit. I thought yesterday we were profitable. I could have swore yesterday at Van Gogh we actually made a profit. I was so happy about it, too. I was like, look, Van Gogh is finally profitable. I guess not. What the frick happened? Did, was there just, like, some extra cost at the end that I didn't see or something? Like, I could have swore. Okay, well, we're profitable today, okay? If we weren't profitable yesterday, we're profitable today, at least so far, that is. It could change, of course, within, well, yeah, it just did. <laughs> it just did with ingredient costs. Maybe, maybe after I closed, they brought in ingredients and that took us to negative. I guess that's the only other option I could think of at this point. Like, we're so close, though, to profitability and it's just like they just snatch it away from us at this point. I think we're here for another, what, two hours, hour and a half, something like that, two and a half hours. Well, now less than that at this point, but uh, we're close. So let's see. Now... We stand at, wait, okay, so we've already pretty much made up all of our money for today. Uh, so we're at negative a thousand, that's for everywhere. Warehouse has no ingredients, it should be on auto restock, so we should be good. Van Gogh's has now made $2,317. All right, so today we're profitable. And I think we're gonna go ahead and put people on that shift. We're not gonna start them, well, we're gonna start them, but they're not gonna actually start up today because the shift will be pretty much over. So I think we'll hire them in the morning. I think that way we can have them trained by the time they or at least somewhat trained by the time they come in in the afternoon of course they won't be exactly where we want them just yet but you know you got to start somewhere five hundred seventy seven thousand dollars so far we have made a profit of seventeen thousand dollars hmm not too shabby not too shabby let's see so in terms of the competition now I guess we might as well wait until uh, the day ends. We do still have a little bit left probably from Vespucci's today more than likely uh, just to end off the day because of course that's our really profitable shift over there. And thus is the end of the day. We stand at $539,469. Van Gogh's performing well specific citizen types. I thought I paused this. Uh, Vespucci's performing well specific citizen types. Do we have a star now? We have an oldster star, so we went from team star to oldster star, so apparently the oldsters love us now at this point. <laughs> I don't blame them, of course. We have a vegetarian pizza, what's not to like about that? Alright, so, I wanted to go back and see the competition. So now, let's see, how far are we away? We are less than $200,000 away now. Like, just barely, it's like 199000 <laughs> You can almost say 200000 but we're less than 200000 away. 
So, all right, let me go ahead and hire these employees that I wanted for this uh, other ship. So I think we'll do kind of the standard that we have right now, which is three, two, and two. All right, so we'll do waiting staff, Kimberly Wong. Let's see, we'll hire you for that shift. Larry Barnes, we'll hire you as well. And who else could I get? I mean, Ruth is kind of the best that I can get, so, okay. Now, let's go ahead and train all of them. Speed training, friendliness training, and more friendliness training. And let's see, cooking staff. Mm, I don't like them at all. <laughs> uh, Stephen Perkins? Stephen. Stephen. There you go. Cynthia Parker. Lawrence Alvarez. Mary Chen. All right, so we'll do that. And we'll train. Let's see, speed training. You can do... Oh, for, it froze for a second. There we go. Speed training. And I need to hire two runners. Let's see. Anna Ray and Brian Murray. That'll do. All right. So let's see. We can go ahead and train them ingredients, and we'll train you on speed. There we go. $545,000. All right, so let's see. We... Hmm. Negative 35,000 so far today. Of course, we won't have to spend anything on furniture today, so that will help. That will help. I think I also need to do some more research, by the way, as well. Um, let's see. We can now do restaurant size two, which will cost us forty thousand dollars and put us a little bit further off of where we were headed for in terms of our uh, competition. But you know, it'll help eventually. All right, so we'll do that. It'll take a whole day. Goodness gracious, to research that. Uh, well, patience. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? Our sixty-four out of eight hundred. We're not opening up yet. I think the runners are coming in. I haven't checked on Vespucci or any of the other restaurants today, for that matter. <laughs> I've just kind of been at uh, Van Gogh's all day, just checking on them to see how they're doing. I should pro Oh, I didn't get to check my statistics either, by the way. Let's see, Vespucci's 323 out of 487 possible. 329, found a chair. 323, placed an order. 323, received pizza. So, wait a minute. I guess maybe we had six total walkouts? Not bad. Perfect, I guess they could say. Alright, so these guys have been trained already for the late night shift. Kimberly Wong, Larry Barnes, everybody is good. And this is running well. 1022 supply chain is looking still pretty good over at Vespucci's. Although if I do get to that upgrade, I'm pretty sure we'll run out of stuff a lot faster. I'm, I'm wondering how far our range is going to extend when we do this upgrade. Because it's already like here. Would we maybe be able to expand out to the mall? Possibly and be able to catch some more people that go through here? I would think so, right? Because if our delivery range extends out that far, then... Hmm. It's a question. We're already, we've already pretty much made up that uh, $40,000 that we spent, though, so... <laughs> yeah, we're doing pretty good, I'd say. Negative 30... Well, really. Negative 36,000. Hmm. It's still fairly early in the day. I guess it's not exactly late. Let's see. So, in terms of restaurants, Vespucci's made 12000 Oh, I missed the $30,000 days. Can we have another one of those? I guess not. Vespucci's to go, 2495 yesterday, 845 today. Van Gogh's is at negative 2,999, pretty much negative 3,000 at the moment. Olympia's at 7,600. They didn't do much yesterday, 1,235. Hmm. Well, the furniture costs were factored into that, but it's, eh. Olympia usually does a little bit better. I guess we've kind of, it does fluctuate from time to time. Sometimes we have pretty good days and sometimes we have bad days, so yeah. How's this, is this already done almost? It doesn't seem like it's been 24 hours, to be completely honest. I guess it hasn't, because it's still going, so... It seems like it's, well, I guess 12 hours or so. I still want, like, at some point, to get all five stars for a restaurant. I really don't know if it's possible, though, because the service varies. So it's like, hmm. Whereas there's no ingredients. Some, wait, what? Oh, I haven't been checking on, oh, I haven't been checking on the health of everybody. I forgot about that. So some employees are called in sick, so they're going to automatically take a break. So that was one of my runners, I believe. So yeah. Hmm. All right, Vivaldi at the stadium. All right, so we're still at 540. Disputes future performed well. Van Gogh's performing well. So let's see. I need to go through. I guess I need to go through and do a health check at the restaurant. See how everybody's doing. I mean, you're good enough for now. Let's see. You're decent. You're decent as well. I could probably send you. I mean, hmm. Oh, you definitely need to go. <laughs> you definitely need to go, my friend. Have yourself a nice vacation. Uh, let's see. Health. You're decent. You're decent as well. 
we can afford well, okay you need to go <laughs> you need to go as well we're gonna be at half staff right now for for the moment so let's see you're hmm, if I if I send you on vacation I don't have anybody to cover this shift to be completely honest unless I extend this person to hours which I may have to do at this point because I don't want to hire a whole nother chef so we'll do that so then we'll send you on vacation and then when you get back, we'll send the other person on vacation, and we'll be fine. So let's see. You're good. I can probably send you. I guess everybody that's about at half or less, I'll probably send them. So you can go as well. Um, let's see. You're... I can't afford to send two of you, so you'll have to stay. <laughs> you'll have to stay for now, okay? I'm sorry. You don't get your vacation right now. So that's Vivaldi's done. Alright, so let's see. Vivaldi. Now we need to go... I wish there was a, like a better way to switch just between my restaurants rather than having to do all this. <laughs> rather than having, I guess I could just do this. This is what I've been doing, but I kind of wish I could just click through uh, without having to do that too. So let's see, Vespucci's health check, everybody, be prepared. What's happening here? Oh, never mind. Um, let's see, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're pretty good. You as well. Let's see, you need health. <laughs> you need health. Uh, let's see, you're good. I think I already checked you, actually. You're decent, you're decent as well. You should probably go. You should probably go as well, so we'll be half there. Probably gonna have a lot more walkouts now because of this, and that's gonna cut into our profits, but at the end of the day, I think we'll still maintain profitability. It would take a good bit for us not to at this point. It would take a good bit. Did I get all these waiters in? I feel like I have so many of them that I just kind of forget how many there are. Yeah, I definitely missed you as well. And I missed you down here. They're so far down. I don't know why they're not all in like the same block. Why don't they... Why are they so far down? Okay, so we sent like three people on vacation from that shift. Uh, so, uh, they're definitely going to be understaffed to high heavens. But I think they can handle it. My waiters are pretty good. Let's see. I could send one of you... You two are both good. One of you could... Well, actually, there's three of you. You need to go. And then... You're good. So, okay. You you need to go as well. That's going to cut into our supply chain as well. But I think we'll be okay. I think I already... Yeah, all these are from there. So we should be good there. You're good. You're good. You're good. I think I already checked. Okay, so we're good. Okay. That... Actually, that was only two restaurants. So, I guess maybe we could... They're going to automatically do it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So let's see, what are you doing? What's up with you? You need to go. Okay, so I'll send you on vacation. Don't leave now, though. Okay, he just left. <laughs> it was like, I got word that I was supposed to be on vacation, so I'm just going to leave in the middle of the shift. I'm going home. Boss, see you later. <laughs> it was just like, just served a customer. It was like, immediately walked out. Like, nah, fam, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to finish my shift and get this extra pay. Nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna go home and relax. Yeah, thank you. You don't have to tell me twice that I'm on vacation now. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. We already, okay, so this is, we already did Vivaldi. We did Vivaldi, we did Vespucci, so I think now we just need to do Olympia, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think everybody at uh, Van Gogh should be pretty good. Everybody at Olympia might be pretty good, too. I don't know if we really need to do anything here. Let's see, you guys are good, you guys, you're good. You're good. Actually, I could send one of you. Right, you can go... Mm, just so we can avoid burnout, we'll send like one of each, I guess. Uh, except for you guys. You guys are good. <laughs> you guys you guys can you guys can handle this a little bit longer. Right, so you're good as well. Alright, and I think that's everybody. So, Olympia makes things a whole lot easier. I don't have to go through like 50 million employees. <laughs> Olympia just isn't as busy, I would say, I guess. You know, it probably could be, but I guess, you know. Oh, our research is finished now, so I actually want to upgrade Vespucci's now at this point. We may add the delivery room in there as well. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that one. I don't exactly know how I want to do that yet. So, also, back to the competition check. So we are, we are now still less than 200,000 away. So we didn't, like, we didn't fall off too much there. How, how did we do yesterday in terms of profit? We made a profit of $1,600, even with 40000 spent on research, 12000 spent on, almost 13000 spent on rent, 81000 spent on ingredients, and thirty four spent on employees. How did the rent change? I don't get why the rent changes from day to day sometimes, too. 
I guess maybe just because the day hasn't fully ended yet that the warehouse expenses haven't added in yet. But the rent is something that should stay pretty much constant, like how it's been like lately over here. So I don't know what's up with that one. But, um, alright, so let's get back to Vespucci's because I want to do this upgrade. Alright, so let's see. We have to close us off. It's 5.30 in the morning. Mm, the student rush, we're going to miss that. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and get it out of the way. I don't know how much it costs, though. It costs 15000 Can I not do it? It's not letting me do it, even though I, I researched it. So I'm confused here. What's going on? It won't let me do it. I guess maybe... Why not? I don't know why it's not letting me upgrade. I mean, we're not at the maximum level, so we should be able to upgrade. But it's not letting me. So what's happening here? I have $15,000, that's not an issue, it's not the money, so what's causing me not to be able to upgrade to the next level here? Can I, let's, let's try it maybe with Olympia, can I not upgrade Olympia either? Okay, let's close. I can't upgrade any of them. So it's almost like I just wasted my money on research because I can't upgrade Jack Squat, and I know I just did the restaurant size thing. Did I not do the, what's happening here? The research is finished. Do I have to do other things just to be able to get to, uh, just to be able to get to the next level? Do I have to do warehouse level two? I can't even research. I already have warehouse level two. So, what what is the issue here? I don't get it at all. Restaurant size two upgrades restaurants to large in architecture mode. Well, I wish I could do that, but apparently I can't. Maybe the game let me upgrade too much already. What is going on here? Yeah, I can't. I still can't do it. Maybe if I change the... I was going to say, maybe if I could change the layout? That probably wouldn't help at all. I guess we're going to have to figure that out a little bit later then, because I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it hasn't registered that the research is finished? I don't know, but that seems oddly weird. Alright, so where has no more ingredients should be on auto restock. That's the one that supplies Vespucci's and Vespucci's alone. Alright, so it's good. Um... Let's see how we're looking. We didn't really miss out too much on the student rush, I guess, because of the fact that I couldn't upgrade. So if I could have, I probably would have missed out on the whole thing because it probably would have taken us, what, six or 12 hours, I think, to get that upgrade done. So I don't know. I might have to mess around with this a little bit just to see if I see I can still upgrade my warehouses. Maybe I have to have a level two warehouse to be able to have the level two restaurant. Maybe that's what it is. I'm going to try it just for the heck of it. I don't have a mascot over here anymore, I guess, either. <laughs> That's the thing. So, all right, let's try it. Just because I can. Just because I'm going to just do it anyway. I don't know how much this is going to increase my uh, increase my spending to in terms of, uh, let's see. It increases the rent to 1250 from, what is it now? 750 All right. So, we'll go ahead and do that upgrade. It'll take three hours. Hopefully, we don't run out of ingredients in that time now frozen again all right so three hours upgrading to medium i love when they just throw the tarp over it like oh, we're doing work guys we'll be done in the next three hours somehow we get some magic done where we get stuff done like really super quick you know usually it takes months to do something like this but you know we get it done in three hours because this is a video game and none of that real life stuff matters <laughs> none of that real life stuff matters there is no i mean i guess to be honest though no it's only day 78 i was gonna say it has been a while but all right, so now, now let's see if we can do it. So we upgraded to level two. So now let's try this upgrade again. All right, going into architecture mode, still not able to do it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. All right, like I said, I have 15,000 to do it. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I have to upgrade the warehouse to get, we're gonna try that again. We're gonna do the, we're gonna do the research for warehouse level three, I think. And then we're gonna see if we can do where our restaurant size two. Or maybe, okay, yeah, let's let's try it. So it was warehouse, warehouse two, and then warehouse three. So do warehouse three. It's another $25,000 spent. I guess we'll see how this works, and then we'll upgrade. Vespucci's is kind of like my test dummy because I want to use Vespucci's to be upgraded anyway. So I guess if anything happens, it'll happen at Vespucci. So if I waste all of my money, It'll just be at Vespucci's. <laughs> the only thing that sucks though is that I'm wasting more money on rent and upgrades and crap for stuff that's not even having any effect whatsoever. So, you know. 532,000. Let's see. So now, 
in terms of our competition, we are we're now more than two hundred thousand away now because of all the expenses that we're incurring right now due to research and everything else. But we'll get back there. We'll get back there. If I could just have a couple of days without doing research, but you know, I just can't. I don't know. But I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.